I'm Libby and I thought I'd bring you along for another little vlog. So it is Monday today and I've just been away for a few days. Got back last night so I'm feeling a little bit tired this morning. It wasn't the most restful of holidays but we went to Portugal as a big group for my friend's birthday. Really fun but I have a lot of stuff to catch up on. I have my first summative due next week which I haven't really done much of at all so I need to do some of that today. I've written out my weekly to-do list just now and it is so full. I need to catch up on all the lectures that I missed because Thursday is my busiest day and I missed all of those lectures on Friday as well. So on my to-do list for today I'm going to do my criminal justice lecture I think which is two hours. They do it all at once so I will start with that I think and then I also need to edit a video but I will probably do that this evening and then I've also put my international commercial litigation summative problem question on there as well so I want to be able to get the problem question part done today. But before we get straight into the video I want to speak to you about today's sponsor which is Water Drop. So Water Drop is the real taste of natural fruits and plants to enhance the best drink in the world which is water so they have sent me their gorgeous glass water bottle in the 500 ml and they have also sent me some of their micro drinks so i have tried a few of these different flavors as well this morning i tried the focus one and it is lime flavored i think and it's so so nice they have also sent me this large advent calendar as well which i'm so excited to get around to using i haven't opened it all yet but i know that there's loads of really exciting products in here and i think there's also a water bottle in here I have opened the first day which has a candle in it which I'm so excited to like because I'm so into candles now it's getting cooler again this gorgeous like marble print really excited to get into using this in December and I think they have different sizes of these as well but I also picked out these caffeine little micro drinks as well so I'm gonna pop one of these in my bottle and show you how easy it is to do so they come in these little packets all you do is take the little cube out of here and drop it into your water and that will dissolve into there these all taste so good and it's really been helping me drink more water and I just need to drink four of these bottles a day to get my two liters in and I can make them taste so good with these micro drinks and also get some vitamins in as well and their micro drinks are 100% vegan gluten-free and sugar-free without sacrificing on the taste at all so I just keep my bottle with me at all times I've got it with me at my desk and I'm just sipping it all day I'll take it to my classes with me as well so by choosing water drop you save 98% of plastic and co2 compared to drinks in single-use bottles and they also collect and recycle ocean bound plastic for every pack sold. So as a result, they extract four times more plastic from nature than they use. I also have an exclusive discount code for you guys, which is Libby15, which I'll leave in the description down below for you as well, which will get you 15% off over the next three weeks. They are also running a giveaway with me. So you just need to comment down below and for a chance to win all of the products that I am using. And I will leave the details of that in the description box. So let's all get to drinking more water and dropping the plastic with water drop. So back on everything that I have to get done today, I'm going to start by watching this two hour criminal lecture and just get it out of the way. And then I'm probably going to dedicate most of the afternoon or evening when I'm doing work to working on this summative. But we will see how we get along and like what I need to get done and stuff. I have a two hour Spanish class as well from 3.30 till 5.30. So that's going to take up a little bit of my time. Get on with watching this criminal justice lecture. I'm 
just finished doing that lecture just gone one o'clock now and i'm gonna pop to the shop because i don't have any food in at all really so i'm gonna pop to the shop and get some bits i'm just gonna walk to the tesco down the road um and then i'll probably do a proper food shop either i don't know tonight or tomorrow probably but yeah i don't have anything to eat today really so i need to go and pick up some bits for today I'm hoping to do like a orzo sort of pasta salad type thing but they quite often don't have the stuff that i need so i'll see what they have and come up with something for lunch and dinner but yeah i'm just gonna pop to the shop now and then make some lunch when i get back It's now just gone half two and I've made some lunch. I made enough for tomorrow as well. So I don't have to do it all twice. But it was just like an orzo pasta salad with halloumi because they had everything I needed at the shop, which was really nice. I've made it before. I put pepper in it as well to get an extra like vegetable in it. So I've kind of changed the recipe a little bit, but I just wanted to get more veg in there. But yeah, I put my laundry out and I'm back at my desk now. I've got like half an hour until my Spanish class. So I've got a couple of emails I need to answer and like some form things that I need to do as well. And a couple of YouTube bits to do. So I'm just gonna bash those out quickly now. And then yeah, I will be leaving for my Spanish class. <laughs> Lately I've been thinking about the choices I have made And doubt the life I've chosen for myself I wonder how it would pan out if I stuck to the status quo And stayed in England, never know But when I see my friends, I see them with this gold It seems they can touch the rainbow I guess I'll never know, never know, never know Would that be me? Stayed in my city Red, blue and green Is that how my life would be? I've just got back from my lecture and it's about six o'clock now. I'm just gonna run downstairs and do a workout in the basement quickly because I can't be bothered to walk to the gym because it's freezing. And then I'll probably cook some dinner. I'm not that hungry yet, so I thought it'd be a good time to work out, then have some dinner, and then I'll move on to doing some of my international commercial litigation summative, I think. And I have to edit a video tonight as well. So yes, I'm gonna go and do a quick workout now. Is that how my life would be? How my life would be And often we're reminded to enjoy each day And find it in ourselves to show some gratitude For every moment through and through I try so hard to just be present Mom will slip the other lessons I can't help but wonder I've just finished my workout now And I'm going to make some dinner for Meg and I I'm going to make goat cheese and tomato pasta It's basically the recipe that was on TikTok but I'm using goat's cheese instead of feta cheese because I really like goat's cheese and I think it makes it so much creamier. It's really, really easy. So I'm just gonna go and make that now. I know I've eaten a lot of like tomato and cheese, but it's like a couple of the only things that actually taste all right to me. So it's a bit of a safe bet for me.
just had dinner and most of the house were in the kitchen so that was really nice and we just had dinner together currently half at eight and i'm gonna grow a tree on flora for 25 minutes and then i'll probably try and do another 25 i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm gonna work solidly no distractions on this international commercial litigation summative i've only got about a week and a half to finish the essay question and the problem question and essays take me so long to read for and write and i've not even started it or any of the reading or anything so i'm definitely gonna need some time to spend on that but yeah i'm gonna get my head down and try and get as much of this done as i can i don't know how long it's gonna take but i will see how far i can get with this <laughs> I was just gone half 11 and I spent about an hour doing international commercial litigation summative work didn't get very far really sort of read through an example answer made a few changes that sort of stuff and I'm going to try and do a big like chunk of hours on it tomorrow so I can really get my head into it since then I've literally just been editing the whole time so like for a couple of hours I think I've nearly finished the video that I'm editing and I need to upload it tonight so I'm gonna quickly finish doing that it shouldn't take me too much longer and then I will have a shower while I upload it and then I will go straight to bed after that. I got a comment of someone saying that like I shouldn't be productive all the time or like it would be nice to see when I'm not being as productive or like how I wind down sort of thing. So like I did do the evening routine video which is where I like actually took an evening off and like wound down and things like that. But at the moment my law school vlogs are just realistic. I don't necessarily want to create content about my days off when I'm spending it with my boyfriend or when I'm on holiday. Those are like the only things that I've been doing when I have a day off recently. And also that sort of content is less popular um, with you guys. So yeah, it's just a really busy time and I don't want to promote like toxic productivity. Like I want the videos to still be relaxing and motivating and all of that sort of stuff it's just the way that it's happening at the moment for me so yeah i hope that that's okay with all of you guys and hopefully you're not all thinking the same thing you're all still enjoying all of the law school vlogs and everything um and let me know if you would like to see more like relaxed content or whatever but yeah, i just wanted to address that just because i've been very busy but i did also just take four days off because i went on holiday that was a big ramble but i just wanted to sort of address that comment a little bit i'm gonna end the vlog here so I can get on with that and get to bed. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. And thank you again to Waterdrop for sponsoring today's video. And I will see you guys in the next video.